I'm really scared, Floyd. Just get in quickly and just don't talk. The neighbors can see. Ow. Uh. That's still locked. Pacific Domes. Ooh, Les, did you say Pacific Domes? Pacific Domes have been manufacturing whimsical domes in Southern Oregon, USA since 1980. Now back to Australia. The largest dome on site is a 36 foot, brackets 11 meter, dwell dome. And the smaller dome is a 20 foot, brackets 6 meter dwell dome. The two imported dwell domes are still purchasable models available on pacificdomes.com. Pacific Domes are 100% portable and are essentially massive tents. The planning permit for the erection of the domes in this video was granted in 2006 so they probably have been abandoned since 2007 or 2008. Neighbors of the derelict space age domes are furious and have called for the eyesore to be demolished ASAP which unfortunately it soon will be. Anyway let's get back to the dome explore. Circle of truth. Wild. A lot of random junk. It's pretty weird. The dome seems to be made out of canvas. Circle of death. Quick little pan of this room. The neighbors um, can see us, uh, which is a concern. So yeah. Some random computer junk here. The person who used to live in this house was obviously in the IT industry. Atari PC4 documentation series owner's manual. There's a zip here. And it goes along the whole window. If you just want to take a huge window panel off, you can. There seems to be some type of little shrine here. It's pretty cool. Some scaffold and Pacific domes. There's like an attempted deck. Out there, I don't think this place was ever finished. Look at that piece. Look at that piece. Is that one of those Minecraft characters? Getting up good AOD, D, D. Nice AFM throw right there. Paul, I have saved your scaffold from looters and vandals. Call me anytime. A dog has been alerted of our presence. Backyard view. That house there is one of the neighbors who is fed up with the vandalism of the house and they are known to chase people out and call the police on people so we've got to be really wary that's why I haven't been talking much in this video. It's made of canvas but there's little, oh no that's plastic, that's part of the plastic window. Like some fence stuff here. This is the back door of the house and as you can see there's a little deck, well they were going to build a little deck that went all the way around and went onto the front of the house, that's pretty awesome. Swelter. Here's a goggle map shot of the dome home. So there's the back door that would have been like a little chill out patio sort of dingle area there, but that never happened either. Oh, we're trying to make as little noise as possible. Coming back because the neighbor's dog is barking. Another neighbor's dog. There's a circle here made of canvas. This could have been curtain slash window cover. I don't like to see graffiti in abandoned places, but it is pretty unique this place. All the art is done by paintbrushes when it's normally spray cans. Pieces. Jockey bar. There's window holes, but there's also other holes, which are just sort of ambient light holes. This house is so depressing. All the tools still here from when they were building it. For whoever's dream this was, it's just been completely crushed and destroyed. It never actually got finished. No one ever actually got to enjoy this home. It would have been such an architectural, like, amazement, but it was never finished. What a waste. Intel Celeron D processor. Children's craft sustainable learning paint. Old gummy galosh. We've just noticed there's like little arms that should come out of each side of the dome. I wonder what those were for. Monsieur.
There is where the car would have parked. The little mini room has little sun visor demos. There is a little rockery in front of the house. We're about to get in the car and there's a little piece of ominous fibrous materials. Slash window covering. Okay. Bash, 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 bash.